Why did Winston Churchill take a deadly decision to destroy the entire French fleet in 1940? In the summer of 1940, Churchill faced a dire dilemma. France had surrendered, leaving the English Channel as the only barrier between Nazi Germany and Britain. Germany was poised to seize the entire French fleet, one of the biggest in the world, which could enable Hitler's invasion of Britain. To prevent this, Churchill had to choose between trusting the assurances of the new French government or taking matters into his own hands and ensuring that the ships never fell into German control. Churchill made the fateful choice to sink the entire French fleet stationed at the naval base in Mirs el Kabir, near Oran, on the coast of French Algeria. This decision, known as Churchill's deadly decision, would have far-reaching consequences, causing the loss of 1,300 French sailors and sparking debates about its significance in the war's trajectory. Some view it as a turning point, while the others label it a betrayal and a war crime. The French still refer to it as our Pearl Harbor, and British sailors found themselves in the heartbreaking position of firing upon their former allies.